Without the spiritual, I would be useless. All of a sudden you'd come to this channel and you'd find zero value in the videos. That's the truth. And not only that, this thing you call spiritual nonsense, yeah, since you believe in science, let me prove to you that what is spiritual is being proved by science all the time. Oh yes. And let me start with something that affects all of us. Telling lies. Being untruthful. Scientists, not spiritual people, scientists have conclusively proved that telling a lie affects your health. It affects your body. Yeah. And as a spiritual person, I can tell you, the person who invented, created, put together your body, yeah, put it together in such a way that evil, like lies, will have consequences on you. In other words, you are not designed to lie and be evil. Okay? But what exactly does science say? What has it proved? There is conclusive proof that telling lies increases the risk of so many deadly diseases, including cancer. There is also scientific proof that telling lies affects your hormones. Yeah, it increases hormone activity, hormonal activity in the body, and also weakens your immune system. Okay? I beg you, you don't have to believe me. Do your own research. Google Sahi. Yeah. And see for yourself, I'm not inventing a story here. In other words, in some extreme cases, telling lies can prove to be fatal within a very short period of time. Of course, it is always fatal long term. Yeah. But also, in extreme cases, it can be fatal within a very short space of time. Let me give you the story of somebody I knew, a dear friend, yeah, a very recent incident that happened. This friend passed on very recently. Yeah, and one day something hit me and I went back, spoke to their doctors, spoke to the people around them, etc, etc. What was I trying to do? I was trying to prove that towards the end of their lives, they were telling a very big lie almost daily. Yeah. They had an affair that their spouse did not know about. Now, I've just talked about weakened immune system. Yeah. And within a very short space of time, and even as they fell ill, they continued with this affair. You know, with modern technology, you can still chat to people, send them videos, etc etc and now i am convinced that one of the things that triggered yeah, their departure from this earth was telling lies now just a very quick aside about our current government there are people who have called president william samoy ruto wise he has a lot of wisdom okay i disagree President William Samoy Ruto obviously is very smart, but it is not wisdom he's using. He is cunning. Okay? Now, Najua Kizungu likuja na meli. Many people don't know the difference between the word cunning and the word wise, wisdom. For instance, you cannot say yeah, that the prophets of Almighty God in the Bible were cunning. You can't. That's the wrong word. They were wise and full of wisdom. Okay? Wisdom is experience, knowledge, and good judgment. And wisdom comes only from one source. God Almighty. Yeah, there's a verse on your screens right now from the Bible to prove it. So in this life, because we have choices in our life, we make choices every day. And all our choices have consequences, ultimately. Okay? In this life, you can decide to meet your goals, to get what you want, either by being cunning or by using 
wisdom. Okay? Now the problem with being cunning, yeah, using deceit and division is because the direction you're going into just means trouble. Because you are in evil territory. Yeah, so a lot of evil things happen. And the end is very predictable. Hapa hapa duniani. Malipo inakuanga hapa hapa. Sio malipengine. 